Well, John, you've been here what, just over a week and had one game. How, how have you felt that you've settled in? Uh, yeah, settled in really well. Um, all the lads have helped massively. They're all a great bunch of lads and um, made me feel welcome and never really been on my own. They've always been in and amongst the lads. So um, in that re respect, um, settled in really well. Obviously, the game on Saturday, we would have uh, preferred to win. But um, that's behind us now, and we're just focusing on Saturday. Would you have preferred a nil-nil? Um, no, I would have preferred. I would have preferred a win, regardless of the score. Um, so no, I'd, I'd um, take a win over a clean sheet all day. Uh, but as a draw, would you have taken a nil-nil because of the fact it would have meant a clean sheet for you? Um, obviously, personally for myself, I would have preferred um, a clean sheet, but. Uh, then things happen in football. It's uh, that's the nature of the game. And um, like I said, we just got to focus on Saturday now. That's behind us. Obviously, Wolves, your parent club, Pat Mountain, is the goalkeeping coach there, yeah. who used to be here. What's what? What's the? What, what are the things that he has been really sort of trying to drum into you? Uh, well, I've been with um, Wolves a long time, and Pat's been at Wolves about six or seven years now. So I've kind of grown up with. Pat is um, my coach and he's helped me massively um, and when he said the opportunity was available to come here um, he just said nothing but good things about the club and um, he said I'd really enjoy it and it's the opportunity to get a promotion on my CV really. And technically as a, goal, as, as a goalkeeping coach then, I say, what, 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 what is he really getting you to concentrate on within your own game? Um, in regards to my game there's, there's little things um, that he's always on at me about um, kicking, crossing, make sure I'm uh, like always alert and stuff like that. Um, it's in regards to all goalkeeping really. At, at the age I am now, I don't know everything about goalkeeping at all. Um, but I know, obviously, I know a, a, a good deal because I'm a I'm a goalkeeper. Like so, in um, respects of game time now, he's just like little things telling me. Like keep things quick or slow things down, which like I'll gain from more games through experience. Are you conscious that obviously you're coming into a very important situation, and equally you're you're following somebody who's been very popular here this season, albeit he like you is a lone e. Yeah, um, obviously I, I I knew when I was coming in here, I did a bit of research, and I know um, Dylan done really well, and uh, like the fans took to him, and unfortunately, obviously um, injuries are part of the game. You never wish injuries on anyone um, but all I can do is play my game and um, the fans well hopefully they saw on Saturday and they'll see in the games coming up I'll give 110% for the club and as long as our names at the top of the league come the end of the season that's all I'm bothered about. In terms of coming into a new group what's the biggest challenge for a, for a keeper in, in, in particular? Um, for a keeper probably say obviously I'm 21 um, it's probably just about trust really because a lot of managers don't really trust young keepers or stuff like that but it's up to me to get the trust of the manager obviously he's brought me in so he um, trusts me in that respect but then you just have to earn the respect of your, your players and the supporters from good performances really that's all I can do. Are you a shouter? Yeah I, that's probably one of the main parts of my games that my communication and talking on I'm quite vocal. I might not be the loudest off the pitch, but on the pitch it's completely different. I'm um, like very vocal. And who in the back four are the real talkers in front of you? Um, well, probably Pass. Um, he's the main vocal out, out of the back four. Probably he's the, he's the most experienced because other than that, it's quite a young back four. So he's like played a lot of games. So the main amount of talking comes from him. Obviously it's Woking on Saturday. That yeah. Some points have slipped away from them in recent weeks, some points have slipped away from Cheltenham. Is there a feeling that you've got to try and recoup some of those this yeah. weekend? Yeah, we've been through um, the game from Saturday and obviously that was my first game. I wasn't here for the, the two before that, but um, the mood around the camp really is we just uh, need to return to any ways, regardless of um, how we play Saturday. We, we've just got to get three points on I'm back on board and back to winning ways. Thank you. You, you mentioned when you were you're given the chance here. How much did you, you sort of relish going 
to a team top top of the league with ten games to go. Yeah, it, to be fair, it was I couldn't believe it when um, obviously when I got the phone call and said that Cheltenham wanted to take me. I was I was straight away said yeah. Um, I was obviously looking to go on loan for the past month and a few things came and didn't happen. But then when this came and I didn't have any other answer apart from hundred percent yes. That everyone said good things and the the opportunity to like play in a title running is perfect for me really. Yeah, it t- takes a certain type of person to grasp that in with both hands. That, that that that's that's a very confident attitude to have. Yeah, definitely. But I, I want to test myself and become the best player that I could possibly be and playing in a title running. Like I said, that's there's no better experience I can get as a 21 year old to be playing in a playing in that. You had that brief spell with Wrexham, I think, a couple of years ago. Did you you believe that you're a better goalkeeper now for your last? Um, yeah, la- it was last season. I played. Um, I was there for two months, and it was really, st- really like it was a confident confidence boost for me because I played twenty ones and found that fine, but I hadn't played like men's football. And then I went there, and it went personally. It went really well, and um, that kind of gave me the yeah, I can play men's football, and then this season I've played 21s um, to keep ticking over and then obviously the loans become available and I feel just feel a lot calmer and because I've come into the, coming in here that I know I've already played at this level and I've done done okay at it so that was a big confidence boost really and how much do you have to work on that communication you say it's a, a strong part of your game getting to know that back four the new back four yeah getting to know them and what they what they want um, I can understand that respect but football Goalkeeping, it's if you're shaking keepers, you sh- it doesn't matter who you're shaking keepers to. They know what they know. You're coming, so that in that respect, it's kind of it's not really different to talking to the back four at Wolves or back four at Wrexham. It's just getting to know some players might want them to be rolled out, might want it to go long. That's that's just getting to know that respect really. Did Pat warn you about Bucky? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Bucky's been great. To be fair, he um, he's. Taught me, taught me through a lot, and especially on the first day, because my first day was last Friday, mm. and we had a game obviously on the Saturday. And I, going into the game, I didn't know any of the back four's <laughs> name, and so Bucky helped me with uh, like all, all the names and like what each player's like, what they what they want, and stuff like that. He's a bit of a character, isn't he? Bucky. Yeah, yeah. I've, I understand he used to play here yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Three hundred games. He yeah. was the goalkeeper when the team last won the national league. So. Yeah, yeah. So well. <laughs> Hopefully it'll happen again this year then. (laughs) But uh, yeah, he's been brilliant. Excellent.